Hello everyone, this is Chris Brooks from Rivsticks Game Studio, and uh, this video is to talk about the user interface for Raffle Blast. Uh, subsequent video will be about how to create themes and an edit theme for custom themes. But let's get started with this one. In order to bring up the user interface for Raffle Blast, you would hit up. And uh, as you can see, you, you have the menu here. Uh, let's go through them. We have edit values, generate shapes, clear shapes, the number of shapes on the screen, the available themes to choose from, uh, a way to refresh themes in case you've changed this, the theme entries, and settings, and the exit button. Now to the right you'll have a history if you press right on your arrow pad, you'll have a history of the chosen shapes. So. Go ahead and we'll start with let's let's load bingo. So we're gonna load bingo, and from bingo, um, you'll see edit values, you have default values. Um, if you don't, you have a, a way of putting in a number range. Let's do that first. So one to one hundred. This symbol here, an equal and a greater than sign, means that it's uh, gonna be a range of values. This works for numeric values doesn't work for uh, character-based values, but it'll work for numeric ones. So this is uh, any number through any number. And then elsewise it's comma separated, so you can go and add, let's say add 450 and 550 to that. So then we'll go to edit, so that means that we'll have 1 to 100, 450, and 550. So let's edit the values, let's generate the shapes. Okay. So let's pick one, there's a 45. Let's pick another one, there's a 550. Okay. Um, now there's two ways to put balls back, or shapes, back into the pool or to remove them from the pool. In some cases you want to put them back and in some cases you want them completely out once they're drawn. Bingo is a case where you'd want them pretty much removed upon drawing. So let's go, we'll click one, there's 32. And we will right click to get rid of it. And if you look, your total shapes went to 101. Let's bring in another one and we'll right click it again. Total shapes is now 100, it removed it from the pool. Let's click another one, 97. And let's just put it back. And it stayed at 100, let's click another one. Again, we'll left click and we'll put it back. And we stayed at 100. Now those really aren't the values that you would get in a bingo game. So let's clear that and let's just bring in the default values for a bingo game. And there, there we are, we've got B through B1 through B15, I16 through I30, and blah blah blah. Just like in a normal bingo game, you have 75 balls and they're labeled with a letter and a number. So let's generate those shapes. And now you'll see that there's N42, and there's B5, and I21. And then if you want to see the history of that, you write, and there you are by hitting the right button, you'll get I21, B5, N42 in the order in which they were drawn. Um, so we've shown generate shapes. Here it is. Uh, pretty much you've seen that. If you don't clear them, you're going to get more. And then you've got clear shapes, you've got your total shapes, your bingo, your available theme choices. And let's go ahead and do Christmas here. Then we've got your refresh themes, which are used more for when you create your own themes, and settings. So some things have music. They start off down because, you know, music can be annoying for people who, you know, for themes that don't need it. Um, so, and when you're trying to do a video and talk about it. So let's go ahead and turn the music up here. And as you can see, so some themes have music and collision and select is volume. So the collision is some, some themes when the balls or the shapes hit each other, they make sounds and other ones uh, when you select the, a certain shape it will make a sound. So let's go ahead and set that here. 
so that we could hear the collision selected shape. Now the Christmas theme doesn't have a collision sound, but it has a selected sound, so we'll do the selected sound. All right, so let's go ahead and lower that down here, and let's pull in, make sure I think we have some values here. Yep, so they're gonna be bingo values, but let's generate the shapes. So there we are, and I'm gonna click a selected, and there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, that was kind of anticlimactic, so let's do collisions. We're gonna pull in the ACS for that, and let's edit the that, and let's just generate the shapes for that. Now, this one will have collision sounds. They're gonna be like a casino collision sound. So that means when the balls hit each other, they choose one of the sounds, and it ends up sounding kind of like a casino. So let's do that. <laughs> And then when you click it, you'll hear that, that little horn sound. There you go. And then the last button you have here is the exit button. So that is, uh, you click that and the, uh, the game will exit. And I think that's about it. So if you have any questions or comments, let us know. And um, thank you very much.